we're going to be talking about a simple fact there or question that has been discussed along us males within our high school and middle school lives. Why do guys never confess to the girls they like? Now, my name is Timothy and I'll be accompanied with my friends. They'll be joining me soon. Now, this, this topic, well, it's a certain emotion or gesture of how we can improve ourselves. But one problem is that how we can well, put it into action by confessing to the girls we like. Now, this is a simple syndrome of being nervous. You see, you, what, the reason that you're nervous is because you are unknown towards the po infinite possibilities that can happen within the moment you confess. There is either three responses. She would say yes, and then you could go on with your life feeling grateful about it. Two, she could just say no, but still can be okay with you. Kind of hurts a bit. Now, what is most painful if she says, I see you as a friend. Now, that hurts the most. Now, since this thing has a possibility of three, it can give you a choice. Either you can flee and never confess for any time and never be able to fulfill your emotions, or you can just take action and confess within an immediate take to be sure that she knows. Now, that is all from me. I'll be passing the torch towards my friend, Jonathan. Why do male, us males, never confess to girls we like? So, in this world, there are reasons, causes. And I'm going to be discussing about the three most controversial reasons. And I'm not saying, like, I'm not going to talk about any, any others. I'm, it's just there's thousands of reasons and possibilities that I can't really discuss in the short term. So I'm just going to talk about the three most controversial ones. And starting with number three is when the said person rejects you. This rejection is just an ordinary rejection. This really, really hurts, and there's a main cause of it. And that is when you feel really insecure about yourself, like you're not attractive enough or you're not handsome enough, in your opinion, to maybe ask her out or confess your feelings to this girl that you like. So from that moment forward on, you're too insecure to ask her out, and that what leads to... A, and possible and an endless ending of if you did it or did not confess. Now the second most controversial reason is da -da -da -da, is when you don't bond to the said person. It's basically saying you, you like something without trying that something. So in this situation, you're too scared to maybe like talk to her, like ask like, hey, you wanna eat lunch together or something? Or you just like don't have a normal conversation daily with that person. Now, from this, from this no bond situation, it, it really, really hurts. Why? Because here, you, you wanna try, but you don't know how to try. That's the second most controversial. And the final one, the, the, the thing that really, really hurts is getting friend zone. And what I mean by friend zone, it's basically when you take the second step and you accomplish it, but it's not worth it enough. You talk to the person, you bond with the person, but the person itself just thinks of you like a regular, ordinary friend that she sees every day. She doesn't think you as some, someone special. She wants to talk to every day. She, she wants to be with, with, the, in, with, her, with her in the rest of her life. That hurts the most, and that is really, really common, sadly, to us males. So that's all from me, and I'll be passing the torch to my friend Bethan right there. A lot of males in high school and middle school might question why they never confess to the girls they like. There are a lot of specific factors, thoughts, and concerns regarding this matter. Some can include the lack of communication or bond with the girl they like. Some can include whether they should confess or not. Some can include whether they think they are attractive enough for this girl. And most importantly, in our opinion, it includes whether the girl will only treat him as a friend. Now, we know that experiencing love in high school and middle school is a very interesting thing. Now, the fact that so many high schoolers and middle schoolers experience this thing at such a young age could just be the fact that it is some sort of trial and error method towards the decision making of whether they should pursue love at that age or not. Now, we know that love can be complicated. Love can be full of confusions, love can be full of complications, and most importantly, love can be full of patience. However, we as a team believe that no matter the cause, no matter the circumstance, no matter the time, you should always have more faith, have more belief, have more confidence in yourself because experiencing love is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that could really make life worthwhile. 
as they say, feeling bad about love even with an unfortunate outcome is better than feeling nothing at all.